Paso County's budget is running thin when it comes to keeping up with state mandated items. Now, I spoke with the Paso County Commissioner Sergio Coronado about the money that they have to set aside for things that they aren't given money for by the state. He tells me this is taken away from what they could really be doing to help the community. Take a look. El Paso County has to foot a big portion of the bill in terms of things mandated by the state. This is because Texas only provides part of that funding. And that means the taxpayers in our community have to pay for those. El Paso County Commissioner Sergio Coronado says a lot of items the state mandates for El Paso have to do with the justice system, public safety and health care. For example, the state pays for the salary of the district attorney, but not all its employees. It pays for the salary of the district judges but not all the other employees. He says 54%, so more than half of the county's budget, is spent on unfunded state mandates. And recently, with the migrant situation at our southern border, some of what comes as a result of it also has to be paid by the county. It's gonna impact our budget about 30 to 50 million this year because of the smuggling cases that we have to take in. The county has to pay to jail them, to provide them medical care, provide him a, a defense lawyer. Coronado says that money going to these state mandates is taking away from some of the things commissioners court would like to focus on. Things like investments in the juvenile system and parks. We want to have uh, maintain our courthouse. We have a need at the courthouse for the uh, heating and cooling. In terms of health care, because University Medical Center relies heavily on taxpayer money and patients the hospital sees include those who are uninsured, Coronado says he wants to see more access to Medicaid. There's money available to the tune of $10 billion that the state is losing out on. And because here in El Paso, one in four people are either underinsured or have none at all, that extra state money could go a long way. Those costs end up uh, being absorbed by the taxpayers of these counties. When we are pressed for our budget the way the state uh, presses us, it you know requires less uh, funds that we're able to provide. I will be reaching out to our state delegation to see if and how they plan to advocate for more funding for El Paso County. And of course, we will keep you updated. I will have a link to the county's budget and this story on our website, kfoxtv.com.